everyone, this video is going to show you how to use the new feature in Google Docs to create drop down menus. I have some examples already set up so you could just see what this could look like. So I have simple question and answer. So this you would give this to the students and they would come in here and select the answer that they want to choose. You could also use this for grading with rubrics. So you have your rubric and then you can come here and choose the score for your students. And then what's really nice, you still have the commenting feature over here that if you wanted to say it's a four, highlight this and then add your comment. Here we have a progress tracker. So maybe you're doing some personalized learning, some stations or blended learning, and you want to keep track of where all your students are in their project or the lesson. Here's where students can come in and every time they start on something, they can say, oh, I'm working on step one. Now I've completed step one. This student right here needs a check from the teacher and you can see that they have not started yet here. Next option, you could do simple fill in the blank. So you can give your students a paragraph with vocabulary words or something and they come to the drop down and choose the correct response. You could also use this for guided notes, great for differentiation and then a good old fashioned quiz. You could do this. I had students here doing O for old stone age or N for new stone age. So how do you set this up? Let's try one together. What you're gonna do is place your cursor where you want the drop down to be. Then you're gonna come up to insert and scroll till you hit drop down and select drop down. Immediately it gives you the option to start a new drop down. It has some preset ones and if you hover over it, it shows you what your options are. All these ones here are all the ones I've already created and so it saves them for me. So that's kind of nice. Let's say I want to create a completely new drop down. I'm going to come up to new drop down and select it and this pop-up box shows up. It's great to name it. So let's pretend I'm doing something on the Civil War and we're gonna say Union or Confederacy. And then I don't want these other two options. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those. And as you can see, I can always add options here by selecting new options. But again, I'm gonna delete those. I only want these two options. I'm gonna choose one as red and one as blue. And when I'm done setting up all my response options for the dropdown, I will just come here and click Save. Now, if I add a question, as my students come down and come choose union or confederacy. If I want to add this option or this drop down menu more than once, of course I can always just go up here, go to insert, go to drop down and add it again. But there is a much simpler way so that I can get this very quickly and that is to click directly onto the drop down, control C to copy, move my cursor to where I want to insert the drop down again and control V and paste it in there. And of course I can change that option if I want to. So simple to create and as you can see you can easily put these inside of tables. I hope you like this feature as much as I do. Enjoy making your drop down menus.